The way we design our treatments for every patient has to do, again, with their condition. So there's always a sweet spot. And we've seen better results with, with the amount of cells that, that we use versus another amount. So when we do local applications, which means we're gonna inject them at a local area, the sweet spot's always between seven million and 10 million stem cells at that point. So all of our treatments are designed to provide us enough stem cells to do the job. For example, our 30 million stem cell option, uh, that's very well designed for something as easy as, as treating a joint because we're always gonna try and get more stem cells in the, in the system. And I explained this earlier, it's because stem cells are not specific to a site. So if I just inject the, 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 the knee, for example, and I don't provide that general bolus of stem cells, the, the results we get aren't as good as the ones we get when we provide you with the IV portion and also with the local portion. So that 30 million stem cells, it's very it's very sweet spot on on really simple small procedures like that or facial rejuvenation or a p shot for example now 50 million for us is a standpoint where we start a treatment for a more chronic condition or a more uh, complex condition there's patients that come in for multiple joint uh, issues and with those 50 million stem cells, we're able to divide the stem cells, uh, dilute them in their own PRP to increase the, the, the amount of, of, of uh, therapeutic that we're using and then apply them to multiple um, locations as well. And that 50 million stem cell standpoint also helps us because th this 50 million increments, again, 50 million is what we consider that, that a body can process in a month. So from that standpoint, we can stack them up in, in, in a huge protocol. For example, for a chronic condition where we may use or may need anywhere from 1 million to 2 million stem cells per pound of weight. So in order for us to achieve that amount of stem cells, we need to, one, be able to expand them to the, to the point that we get robust, healthy cells, but, and, and also to get the, the, the amount of stem cells that we need to treat these conditions. Thank you.